good, use the right word too, the rotation on its axis. It's that funny thing where I said if I stood around in class and just did this all day, you'd think I was a weirdo. But if I were to walk- My passion, quite honestly, is getting people involved and thinking about the earth, first of all, seeing that I'm teaching earth science, but when I come in here, I really like it because it ends up speaking mostly about why it's an amazing thing, why it's something to protect. When I came into the classroom, I realized there's a lot of benefit to using smart boards and doing controlled lab environments, um, but outside always calls. And if it's nice out, it's hard to be like, okay, let's, you know, let's look at the smart board and do a lesson and do something on paper in here when we can go outside. I walked out there and other students from previous years, because I've used it for a number of years, were like, are you, doing the, are you doing the solar system walk thing? So it seems kind of a perfect fit for outdoor, something tactile, something memorable. They may not remember that Earth is 8,000 miles across, uh, but they'll remember that idea of how far it is to walk from, let's say, Mars through the asteroid belt and to reaching Jupiter's area and all the moons around it. I like to hang out with students that have such good energy. Uh, the, the students at Porter Goud really do make the job for me.